Hi guys, I received a comment on one of my videos, uh, it's a subscriber's question video, it says A true hero, he beat the errors and won the war, nice. I had a fun thing you might want to show everyone, how to make your desktop a web page. I learned how to do it but no one will watch it if I posted it, oh and say my name, say it. Taypalam, 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 yeah. So, um, yep, this is very simple to do. Um, what you're actually going to be using is something called Active Desktop, which has been around since, um, oh god knows when, since Windows 95, I think, um, when they introduced Internet Explorer 4, um, you were able to do this. Uh, now all you need to do is right-click the desktop, click Properties. I think uh, Vista users have to do uh, Personalization or something. Um, click the Desktop tab, Customize Desktop, Web, and then you just have to say New. And then you just paste the address to, uh, well, put, uh, I'm just going to put in google.com. And now I'm just going to pr press OK. And it says, you have chosen to make this site available offline and add it to your active desktop interface. If this site needs a password, please choose customize and enter it. So if it needs a password to log into, then you can do this. Um, just press OK. And it will synchronize. And it's pretty much as simple as that. So you then just um, make sure this is ticked and press OK. Uh, keep your background as none, I suppose, if you really want to. Press OK and you'll notice that Google has now loaded up on my desktop. Now, I can um, maximize, I think this one maximizes it, but you can see the icons so you can use them. I think that one maximizes it completely and you can close it. Now, I can move this about anywhere on my desktop. So you can kind of use it as a widget. You can also um, resize it. Um, and uh, that's pretty much it. You can then do searches, but it will open up in um, in your actual browser. So if I say test, it's actually opened up in my browser. But it's useful to have all the same if you want to have a Google search on your desktop. So um, thanks for the reminder. Type type alarm. Type alarm. Type alarm. Um, basically, you can do this, and I'll be showing another use of this active desktop in my next video. So. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to uh, prevent resizing or anything like that or moving it about, all you need to do is go back into the properties and say desktop, customize desktop, web, and then you say lock desktop items so it prevents moving or resizing with the web desktop items. So uh, that's pretty much it really. Um, thanks, for watching my, oops, thanks for watching my video. Uh, please comment, rate, subscribe if you like my videos and thanks again.